Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sani from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a new video on MQTT. And in fact, this is the second part of the previous video that we made for creating an MIT based MQTT application. So in our today's video, we're going to continue with that. And in fact, what left was that we have to display the temperature and the humidity value coming from the HT11 sensor on the node MCU to the application that we have just created. So this is all that we're going to cover in our today's video. Now let's not waste much time and let's straight forward go to the project and let's understand how are we going to connect the things and to display the values of temperature and humidity onto the application that we have created. So let's get started. All right, guys. So here is the application which we created in the last video. So basically there I was having the buttons like in the vertical way, right? But uh, in this, I have just uh, aligned this in such a way that uh, two uh, bulbs will come in just one row, right? So I just uh, have uh, make the changes in the front end. Otherwise, rest everything is uh, the same uh, in the block uh, section, right? So everything is same, right? So now uh, what we are discussing is that we have to simply display two more values and those two more values are your temperature and humidity which we are going to get from the DHT11 sensor and in fact that values we are already getting right and in fact we already have a subscribe topic for that and that is temp data which we have already seen over here right so this is the TAM data from where we have to simply subscribe to the values, right? So those two values we have to simply subscribe and we have to display them over here, right? And for that, first of all, let me do one thing. Uh, let me create the front end for that so that we can display the uh, data in such a way. And for that also, what we have to do is we just have to make the changes in the similar way, right? One image and one uh, like uh, your label, right? So this is what we are going to do. So let me do that. So let me first of all add the uh, horizontal arrangements. I'll add it in here only, right? One is this one and one is this one. So in this way, I'm putting it, right? But if you want uh, them uh, to be aligned in the similar way, then we can do one thing. We can put this one horizontal uh, like arrangement one more. like this right so now we have it here and now we have to put the image and the text for that right so currently we don't have anything to put for the value over here so in this case what we're gonna do is we'll simply put uh, like any random value let's say and those random values let me show you what i'm gonna put uh, let me put over here like dot 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 right because we don't have any value for this right now same thing we'll do for this dot 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 right now let me put the images just because this time images will not be the same the images is are gonna be the uh what we say the temperature and the humidity images so those images i already have with me so let me upload them so i'll simply choose it from here like we did in the last video inside the images directory i have them one is humidity and one is temperature Okay, so I have uh, uploaded both of them. So now I can add them one by one. So first one, I'll make it for, uh, let's say humidity, right? So let's select it here. And this first one is humidity. Similarly, uh, the second thing we have to do is we have to do the height and this, right? So let me put it like uh, 50, I guess. Okay, not 50 is very small. Okay, so I have this. Now I can align this one at the center, right? So let me do this one. Uh, for that, I have to select this. All right, so we have simply created our front end, right? Now the next thing is that we have to simply start creating the back end thing uh, where we are actually going to collect the values from the subscribe topic and also we are going to uh, like put those values inside these labels, right? So this is what we are going to do. So for that, we will go back to the blocks 
but uh, before starting with the blogs what exactly we have to understand is that how are we receiving the data on the subscribe side right so for that let me go back to the code first of all so this is the code just go to the bottom over here if you will notice that while we were updating or while we were publishing the data from the uh, like node mcu side so what we were actually doing is we were simply uploading the data in this way like temperature comma humidity we were just uh, concatenating them and then we were publishing that data so basically firstly temperature comma then value for humidity so this is what we are having so basically what we have to do with this data is we simply have to uh, split this data we'll split this data to get two values temperature and humidity and those two values we are going to update onto the front end side which is over here over here for the humidity over here for the temperature so in this way we are going to get those values right so this is the way how we are going to get that now you have understood like what exactly we have to do and also you know like what's the subscribe topic for that so let's start by uh, creating the stuff over here right so before starting with the subscribe thing uh, one thing we have to start over here which we were discussing last time that uh, we have to add it here but last time it was not mandatory but this time we are using the subscribe topic so that's why we have to add that and that is that we have to subscribe or let's say we have to call the uh, subscribe topic with the quality of service that we are actually using right so let me put that here and for that you have to go to this and over here you have to simply search for this call and that must be over here yeah this one i'll take this one and i'll simply put it here right so over here you have to simply uh, define what's the topic that you want to subscribe to and what's the quality of service that you are going to use in here right so quality of service i think you already know that we are going to use zero quality of service so that's why it is like that so let me put the values for that over this and text will be this put the name of your subscribe topic and that is tamp data so we'll simply put that okay so we have put this okay so this one is done now the next thing is that now we will simply start reading up the data and we will further split that data because as i describe or let's say as i have already mentioned that over here we are simply getting the data in this way which is a string type so we have to simply uh, separate them or you can say we have to split them and then we have to get the values for temperature and humidity right so this is what we are gonna do so for that we will simply call uh, a function which is gonna come from here where we are actually going to read the data which we have received so we'll simply search for this message received uh, where is it uh, i think it must be up uh, okay this one so we'll simply call this let me zoom it up okay so we have this one right so now here we have simply called this that we are gonna read the data now over here we also have the condition and that condition is that we have to read the data only when the subscribe topic is what we are actually looking for because there are possibilities that there can be n number of subscribe topics so we have to go for only temp data so we'll look for that so let me put up the condition this time it's just a single condition that's why i'm taking if only now in here I've, i'm gonna simply put up the like logical thing where i'm gonna compare what is the data that i'm looking for or let's say what's the topic that i'm looking for so i'll simply get the topic what is the topic and i'm gonna compare that the topic that i'm looking for it's just the same or it's something else right so this is what we are going to check for so i'll simply put the text over here and that text is temp data temp data right so this is the first condition that we have to check now after checking up this like uh, what next we have to do is that we have to simply read the data right so before uh, reading up the data or let's say before fetching that value i'm gonna create a global variable so that i can put my values in there and then i can simply uh, let's say uh, get the values from there right so i'm gonna create a global variable for that so for that i'm going to go to variables so, and uh, I'm gonna do initialize the global variable and I can simply write up the name for that 
so name you're gonna put in here i'm gonna give it a name as uh let's say uh let's say bht value right so i can give it like that uh, let me take v as capital right dht value and i'm gonna create or let's say i'm gonna initialize it as a empty list right because the data are gonna be like multiple values so i'm gonna create an empty list where i can store my multiple values so i'll do that now i have initialized that now the next thing is now i have to put up or let's say i have to set up the variable which i have simply created and accordingly i'm gonna get the values inside that right i'm gonna do that so for that i'm setting up a value so go in here and uh, inside the variable set global data and what will be your global data global dht value so this is the value or this is the variable from where we're gonna get the values and basically what this will do is this will simply store the values but what's the value values is gonna come from this the topic which we have subscribed to so we're gonna subscribe to that and we are gonna actually split the data and then we're gonna store it in here right so basically we know that we have to split it so we have to get the split function over here right so for that let me go in here this one split text and what's the text text is this message which i will get from here now over here we have got the data and and we are gonna actually uh, split that on the basis of a delimiter which is with the value comma so i'm gonna put that so i'm gonna simply put that comma right so this is how we have simply splitted the data now once we have splitted the data we have to simply put each of the value in a separate label because on the designer side we have simply created two um, labels right one for the humidity and one for the temperature this is what we are doing right so we have to put uh, in both of them and basically this one is label 7 which is for the temperature and level six is for the humidity so we have to put the values accordingly so this is uh, what we are doing so i'll go to the blocks again and in here we are simply gonna uh, set up the values and this time the values are going to be set for uh, your labels this is the label so i'll set the value i'll take this one only i'll change that set label six and uh, text what will be the text for that right so this time our values are like uh, uh, let's say splitted so we have to simply join them right so for that i'll go in here again and uh, this time i'm gonna join it and what exactly we are joining in here that we have two values which we are about to join one is the value and second one is the degree for that or let's say the si unit for that basically right for temperature it's celsius and for uh, let's say humidity it's percentage this is what we are gonna define that's why we are gonna uh, join them both right so this thing we have let me copy and paste it because we are gonna do it for both level six and level seven right so basically level six is for level six is your humidity right so humidity is your second value so we are gonna get that now we have to select the values from the list so for that i'll go in here and i will select list item right just copy and paste it same thing we have to do here so <clears throat> we have to get the global variable basically get the topic get the global dht value and from there we have the indexing so we have the indexing i'll put this one copy and paste it same thing for hair copy and paste it same thing for hair so here we have the two values level six is for your uh, uh, humidity basically right so and humidity is your second value so it's second and it's one right so this is how i have put the indexing for this one and two now similarly now values for that that it is degree celsius or its uh, percentage right 
so this one is your second which is your temperature sorry uh, second one is not your temperature basically second one is your humidity right and uh, six is for six is for your humidity right okay so this one will be percent and this one will be your degree celsius degree symbol i need so this is the degree symbol i'll simply copy this and i'll paste it here degree celsius right so this is how i'll simply put this so this is the way how basically we are going to uh, split the data and further display or let's say pass the values into each of the labels right one is this one and the second one is this one so this is the way how we have done that now our front end is complete and also our back end is also ready right so this is the complete thing that we have done so now the next thing is we simply have to build our application so that we can start checking it up in the coding stuff we don't have to do anything new because everything is already there and the code is already uploaded uh, as per our last video right so if you haven't uh, watched that you can go and watch that i'll attach the link now let me build it up quickly so that we can check that all right so you can see the application is ready now the next thing is that we have to simply install this application onto our smartphone so that we can further test it out right so let me do the same process like we did in our last video right so let me open the scanner so i'll simply scan this code so just click on this it will start downloading download again because we have an update for this open it up now you can see it's update now you can see it is uh, downloaded and it's installed successfully now open it up now you can see like we have the application ready and everything is uh, just the way like we have uh, discussed over here right so now let's see whether our actual real time values are going to be displayed onto the application uh, with the node mcu or not so let's see that all right guys so as you can see the application is ready and in fact our uh, system is also ready where node mcu and all the appliances are connected successfully so now what we are going to do is we are going to connect to the broker first so that we can see that our dht11 sensor is able to send you the values and we are able to read it or not so let me click on connect so we are connected to the broker and also you can see that uh, we have the values humidity is 43 percent and your temperature is 34 degrees celsius so now along with that as we can see that uh, your appliances are also connected so we can simply control them either right so let me click on one of it so you can see second this and fourth right so our appliances are also connected so now as you can see like uh, the temperature is increased just because uh, the 100 watt valves are on so that's why the temperature is also increased to 35 36 degree right so this is like how you can see the temperature is also changing so now let me turn off the bulbs see 37 degree up to this we have reached right so now we have turned off it so now you we will see like you will notice obviously that the temperature will be uh, like going down right so this is the way like how we can simply control the appliances and we can simply uh, read up the values right so this is all about this so that's all from my side for today. I hope you all have understood like how do you create your own customized application using uh, MIT App Inventor for your MQTT broker and MQTT uh, applications. So that's all about this. So still if you are facing any difficulties in any of the topic or in any part that we have discussed, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section. So if you have any uh, recommendations also, if you have any suggestions also, you can feel free to comment below in the comment section. And also, if you are new to our channel and if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos of our channel and uh, that will really help us to grow our community and serve you better. And also, if you have liked the video, do click on the like button. And So, thank you so much for watching. See you in our next video. Bye-bye and take care.